Nikolai Karnyshev created a scale that is used for measuring technological advancement of a civilization based on the amount of energy it is able to use. Our goal was to become type 1 civilization, a civilization that is capable of using the power of its own planet. A Dyson Sphere program is a game that will allow us to do so. It is basically Factorio in space. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and also boys and girls, if you find out throughout the video that you don't hit my face that much, subscribe and join our community and enjoy the video. We are here, our crappy little base. Here we get the iron and of course the copper. Let's see how far can we get this. Electromagnetic matrix will be used to make our research. But plant this thing here and it is online. But we are not mere mortals. We are a huge machine. But for us to be working, we need to uh, cut the trees, right? And put it inside our suit so we can uh, create more energy or we die. With a time passing by, our base increased in size. We started manufacturing basic materials and currently in the distance we can see we are producing energy using the wind. And we recharge our boy at this pulse. They are good. Currently we are still doing manual research but that soon will change. With all these beauties, with each day the automation is increasing. And finally boys and girls, the blue research is automated. And it is coming out. As this beautiful blue stuff is making us research new important milestones or making our mech stronger, I just found out about something. You can stack these boys on top of each other and you don't even have to change anything. And so we are hashing away. Now it is time to build something very important. Alright, let's do it like this. This to here, very good. Last touches. Also increase the iron production because we are running out. And with every possible resource, the market is completed. This is where we will resupply our stuff if we need to. Because we are lazy buggers and who makes their things by hand? One advantage that this game has over Factorio is the verticalness of the stuff. So you, when you have spaghetti yours, you can just build under it and it all works very nice. As we research our red energy matrix, we are getting closer to our goal. And now this planet is slowly growing into an industrial powerhouse. And while we did already quite a lot to this planet, an oil extractor will surely help to the ecosystem. We do have a nice bloody view. Started mining oil and we experimented with the ratios. But we didn't end there. We found a better place where to exploit the nature and extract more oil. And as the sun starts to shine and look at our base. Damn. This looks nice. We are looking at our refinery, boys and girls. All the oil that gets extracted, all of it gets transformed here into more useful stuff. Mainly we turn the oil into hydrogen and refined oil. All this bloody thing gets sorted in this bloody spaghetti hose and turned into more hydrogen in a more efficient way. And as we want to be nice to the mother nature as we can, we also dig up some coal and we smelt it into graphite. And with the hydrogen and graphite, we turn it into our beautiful red science. And we transport it all the way over there. And with all this research, we have new toys. For example, we can fly now. And it is a pretty neat thing. But we want the drive engine to be even better. And when it will get researched, this will help us a lot. The research will allow us to do more than world domination. More than becoming type 1 civilization. We will go further and become multi-planetary species. The second planet we will be conquering is this ice giant. Located pretty far away, but we can make it. We need the titanium, but we won't end at the type 1 civilization. We will go further out and we will conquer our star cluster, transitioning into type 2 civilization. And we will achieve the type 2 civilization by building a Dyson Sphere. Convenient name of the game. But I'm always talking about types of civilization. What is it about? This is Nikolai Kardashev and he came up with Kardashev scale with our most trusted sources. The wiki. It is used for measuring civilization's level of technological 
to advancement based on the amount of energy it is able to use. The Type 1 civilization is capable of using all of the power of its home planet, the Type 2 civilization the power of its star system, and the Type 3 civilization is capable of using the power of its own galaxy. And so on, and so on. Kurz gesagt has a lovely video on this, so definitely check it out. But when we will achieve the Type 1 civilization, well if we compare it to the Earth we need around 10 to the 17th watts of power, which is kinda troublesome, because we would need 1 to 11th megawatts, which is this number. And with third of the planet already dominated, our power consumption slash production is uh, not sufficient. These numbers are quite different. Therefore, it seems that this miniverse isn't really up to scale. Well, it looks small. So we can assume that we achieve type 1 civilization after exploiting this planet some more and even starting to colonize the others. But because it might not seem, but we are quite heavily producing our power using wind turbines. There's quite a lot of them, I guess. Yeah. And I nearly forgot, what about all of the excess refined oil? Well, we burn it for some more power. And to increase our power consumption, let's proceed with the mission of becoming multiplanetary. But for that we will need a lot of fuel. And honestly, I'm scared of the deep space, so we have to get the most efficient fuel we can get. And very efficient fuel is made from titanium. But on this planet we have zero of it. But we are not out of luck. On this planet there are these kind of rock formation. I assume it might be by me meteorite fall and they contain the titanium and we have to scavenge a bunch of it and with the combination of hydrogen we can create hydrogen fuel rod right now in my opinion it is best that we can get we also have to get the important machines and stuff and definitely a bunch of wind turbines because we need the power and thankfully the planet we are going to seems to be quite windy boys and girls we are ready we got quite few hydrogen fuel rods and also some graphite for bad times i guess and now let's equip the fuel and let's see what can we do you know what the space is a scary place boys and girls let's see how we will do it double tap increase the speed how do we do it we are increasing its oh my god no, 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 no. we are increasing its speed we're flying to orbit we are still not dead, and it seems we are in space, we are going super bloody fast! Where are we? Where are we going? Oh no, oh no! How am I supposed to do this? Where are we going? Shit! Where is the planet? Here. Ah? Will it change for us? Oh no, we have to change it. And it seems we are going. We're gonna speed up, so we won't take that long. Insanely draining fast. But oh my god, the fuel rods are epic. And one epic thing to notice before we get there. Do you hear it? Exactly, you don't. We are in space. Let's stop it for a second. Me from the future. The audio of the game didn't get recorded in few of the files of the game. But it still works if you go up into the space. As you enter the space, there is nothing but silence. We are far, far away from home. And we are getting closer to our goal. Only one AU left. I guess it stands for astronomical unit. At least I hope so. We can see the planet. We're closing in. Soon we will land. I will slow down so we don't crash into the planet. 3000 meters left. 2000. We're going still quite fast. 1000. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, 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 okay. And we're starting to hear. We're still super fast. We got up. Survive. Oh, hello there, wasteland. One last quick stop with an interesting fact. I was quite confused about the distance, mainly the meters part. In real life, one astronomical unit is around 150 million kilometers. And in the game, it is only 40 kilometers. So the whole game is scaled down, so it is playable. Makes sense. Damn, I kinda forgot to bring a flag, damn it. We have iron, and this is what we came for, the titanium. And also we have silicon ore so let's find that as well and here is the silicon vein oh yes oh yes boys and girls and our first buildings are being laid down and i think uh we should start building the turbines nice and the last turbine hopefully we will have enough energy yeah seems nice and here we are boys and girls we became 
Multiplanetary. We mine the titanium, we smell it into ingots, and then store it away. Of course, the same goes for silicon, and we will need a lot of it, because you use it for things like solar panels, small chipsets, I guess, and a lot of cool stuff. But how we will get it back home? We research planetary logistic systems, and I have no idea how this will work, and apparently we need both silicon and the titanium, so we're gonna take some with us, set course for our home planet, and lift off. How do you do it? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, we are going out. Oh, we probably should have been smarter about it last time. Right now, the orbits align quite nicely. Meaning, we have quite short way to go. And probably we didn't even need the hydrogen fuel. We are consuming the graphite quite nicely. 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, we never nearly overshot it. Entering the atmosphere. Dive in. They really need to make the landing bit cooler. And with the gain material, we got to work. We managed to use the excess refined oil, processing it here, and finally creating graphene. Which we kinda actually had to bring all the way back. Yeah, it goes further. Yeah, it looks terrible. It goes around the whole bloody planet. Here it does a weird zigzag. Up through this mess. Oh, this actually looks epic. I like the... 3D aspect of this game. And here we shove it with a bunch of other stuff to create particle container. And also a bunch of motors here. It is complicated. Also, we used up most of our silicon to create these chipsets. And now, wonderful people, we have enough material to create these bad boys. This will be intense. And I have no idea how it will work, but it is huge. Oh, it is huge. First of all, charge the thing. I want this. I want it to demand. And now we have to get to our ice planet. And smooth landing. Lovely. Great. Through the wind fields we go. Okay, now get you and I will plunge you in here. Connect everything up. And everything is getting sucked in. Well, I could have used faster bells, but what does it matter? Five minutes later. Oh no, are you kidding me? Don't. Oh Jesus. I just realized, boys and girls. This is planetary logistics system. And I hoped it would bring things from this planet to this planet. So yeah, it is not working. What now? Shit. Oh shit. We need this one. Oh. So I kill it? Yes. Bam! It's all over the ground. And we're gonna delete 5,000 of both of these. Very, very lovely. And so back we go. More work needs to be done. But there is a thing, boys and girls. We need yellow science to research it. You might say it is easy. Well, we have the diamonds. We have all of this stuff to create it. But to create this thing, we need the green stuff that we have. But we also need titanium. And there's a question for you guys. Why do we need interplanetary logistic system? Because we need to get the titanium from this planet to here and to get that thing we need a titanium bloody awesome it seems we will have to become like all the stuff we need a planetary delivery system ourselves for now Always gets me. And the first yellow science has been made. And as we are no chumps, we will transport it with our delivery drones. Here they come, they're making a landing. And with the science, they fly off. Nice. We need alloy firstly, and then we're gonna get what we want. And it is coming out very nice. And this looks bloody amazing. For now, I'll do one more delivery service. Oh, well, boys and girls, a lot of has changed. Not only things are flying here and there, we are smelting new metals. This is full and operational. A bunch of stuff happened, actually. Uh, but we reached a point where we actually can create spaceships, boys and girls. I'll see you in a moment. Time has passed and we are ready. We managed to get even a bigger building. Look at that thing. An interstellar. Logistic station. Interstellar logistic station. Yeah, and open that's what he said. Now we will drop the other one here. Wonderful. Connect the spaghetti in, and our resources are getting filled into this beautiful thing. And now the grand moment. Twenty spaceships. Oh, maximum is ten. Derp. Look at them. They are going up, flying all around. They're reaching the orbit, and the destination is our cold planet. This is an epic moment. Cheers. Yes! Uh, they will soon make their landing. Five minutes later. And they are coming back. We can see them in the distance. They're coming. And they're landing in. With all of the material we needed. 
And once they finish loading off, they're going for some more. This is a great success. And as our planet expands and we are supplying it with spaceships, we demand quite a lot of power. So I know just a thing that might fix that. Let's do this. Oh. Ah! Oh, god damn it. Bloody hell, all around the. Can you please go straight? Thank you, Sean. And now we went all around the globe. This is all around the equator. And now we're gonna start placing the solar panels. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be any way to make this faster. Extremely annoying shift later. We already look like a type 1 civilization. You know guys what's it about? We have built a solar panel belt all around the bloody planet because half of the time one planet has sun on it and the other one is black so we always have half of the solar panel functioning titanium ingot and a ring around the whole planet isn't good enough for you you don't think it is enough power then look at this this will go for quite a while we managed to fill large portion of the planet with wind turbines and it is a uh, Amazing! And this is what it takes, wonderful view, to become a type 1 civilization. And uh, multiplanetary at that. Should be enough power for now. And if you don't hate my face that much, consider subscribing. And you don't even have to pay me anything for it. Tell me down below if you enjoyed this game, if you played it, if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao, guys, and take care.